If you'll shuffle these, and if you'll shuffle okay. these. Okay. Now we'll just put the packets in a row. If you'll place yours here, you place yours here. Oh, now that's real professional. He, sure. just, he, just, he, just, he just ruined the deck in one <laughs> shuffle. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, okay. Dear, would you do me a favor, please, by simply cutting off a small packet of cards from this packet and handing it to me? Okay. Thank you. Now, would you take any one of the aces, anyone, and place it on that packet? Oh, the diamond. <laughs> no, face down. Oh, face down. Yeah. Okay. Would you cut some cards off and place it on top of here? Sir, would you take any ace and place it on this packet? Right here? No, on this packet. Oh, on this one, okay. Mm -hmm. If you can reach across and cut some cards off. If you'll do the same, would you take an ace and place it on this packet? Uh, mm -hmm. Cut some cards off. Great. Take the last ace, place it on this packet. Take the rest of these cards and place it on top. And now while you're still holding on, would you just gather them all up? Like that? Mm-hmm. So I think you'll all admit that the four aces have been fairly lost into the deck, yes. right? Uh -huh. Now, as you know, there are many, many ways that people will shuffle a deck of cards. As an example, some people will take a deck and they'll shuffle something like this. The only problem with that is people, can, you know, they say he's counting cards or he's looking for the aces or he's cheating in some devious method, which, are, of course, <laughs> I, I, would not, I, I would know nothing about. As I say, <laughs> bridge players will usually shuffle in their hands something like this, and then they tip the deck up and let everybody see the bottom card. Mm -hmm. And that's why all gamblers are required to shuffle exactly the same way, which of course is right onto the table like this. So there's many, many ways that you can shuffle a deck of cards. But it really doesn't matter how you shuffle them, just as long as you get the cards that you want <laughs> up <laughs> to the top. <laughs> But the one thing that most people can't do, and, or they do do, but they really don't know how to, and that's to cut cards. See, if you shuffle a deck and then you cut, you should be able to get a card, something like that. I'll do it again. All you do is just take the deck, and you shuffle, and you cut. <laughs> You see, I'm, well, that's just luck. <laughs> no, I'm, I mean, that's not sure. that's not that's not going to happen every time. It does happen mm -hmm. on occasion. I'm yeah, but uh, you just shuffle and you just uh. cut. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you don't understand any of this. Do you? No, no. <laughs> I'm completely confused. And that, of course, leaves us with just one more. Mm. And if I cut just about there, uh, we can oh, find it there. That. Now, <laughs> people often say to me, they say, Martin, okay. You can cut out the four aces, but can you do it with three, seven jacks or queens? Mm. Well, as we know, in the average game of poker, there's 52, there's five cards in the hand. Mm -hmm. So I need a fifth card to fill the hand. Corinne, would you do me a fair, please, just touch and name any card in the deck? Just the touch it. The queen of clubs. The queen of clubs. Yeah. Okay. Queen of clubs. You sure you want the Queen of Clubs now? Yes. You figure that would make a pretty good card to fill the hand? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Heck yeah. Oh, that's great. First of all, I'm going to attempt to deal the cards alternately. First black, and then red. Halfway there. <laughs> From a shuffled, examined, cut deck of cards, dealing the cards alternate, black and red. Now, as I do this, please remember, it could be bridge, twist, poker, gin, rummy, snap, or crazy eights. If I take the cards, which are now alternating in color and apparently do nothing, the cards will no longer alternate, but will now become pairs of color. A black and a black, a red and a red. The black and the black, a red and a red. If I take the cards, which are now in pairs of color and once again do nothing, they're no longer in pairs, but go back to the original condition of alternating black and red. So as you can see, a shuffled, examined, and cut deck of cards in my hands can either alternate black and red, or can become pairs of color. But now I'm going to attempt to do an even more difficult thing by making the cards become triplicate. 
black and black and the black, red or red and a red. And so it goes. And now I'm going to attempt to do one of the most difficult things that I know how with 52 pieces of paper. Because I'm going to shuffle a deck and then attempt to deal the cards as asked for by the people at the table. Sir, what would you care to see? Singles, doubles, or triples? Doubles. Doubles. That would be a red and a red, a black and a black. What would you like, dear? Uh, how about singles? Singles? That would just alternate red and black. What would you like? <laughs> Triple. Triple. That's the hard one. A black, a black, a black. Yeah. What would you like, Corrine? Oh, I think I'll go with triples again. Just because I said it was difficult, right? Yeah, most people do. What would you like? Uh, doubles. Doubles. And what would you like, dear? Triples. Triples again, just because I said it was a difficult one. Yeah, but I'm not going to, I'm just going to do doubles. Oh, yeah, because okay. she just asked for them. It's too difficult. Now, if you speak to any professional gambler anywhere in the world, if you have the chance or the opportunity, perhaps you care to ask them a question, and it might be this. If you could only do one move with the deck of cards, you don't take the money. What would it be? And quite possibly tell you to stock the deck. In other words, place just three cards in such position that on the deal they come to himself, because he knows if he can get any three of a kind, he'll win over 50, 70 percent of all hands he sits down to play. Now, as I have been dealing and shuffling, I've admittedly been cheating, but as you have now watched me, I've attempted not to stock three cards, but about half a deck. Now, the two of you examined the deck before I started. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. It looked very similar to what I have here. It was a random shuffle deck, right? Mm -hmm. You examined the shuffle. It was a good shuffle. And now, if I have done it correctly, the cards will no longer be single, no longer double, and no longer triple. But what I've now attempted to do is to completely segregate each and every black card from each and every red one. Mm -hmm. So the next time you sit down to play that friendly little game of poker, Look very carefully at the gentleman just across the table. You know the one I mean? You know the one with the dark glasses? Because <laughs> who knows? Could be me. <laughs> Thank you.